All right, in this section of problems, uh, we're still using our basic trigonometric skills that we've learned, sine, cosine, and tangent. So it looks like we need to find a missing side. So we need to find x in this case. Um, and I'm given one of the side lengths, and I'm given one of the angles inside the triangle. Now, of course, we know that we could find the missing angles, like on number 13. Uh, we know that all the angles inside of a triangle add up to equal 180. So I could do 90 plus 41, which gives me 131, and then subtract it from 180. So 180 minus 131 would give me, I believe, if I'm doing my math right, 49 degrees. So 49 degrees would go there. But again, I don't need to find the other angle. I need to find the missing side. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and pick the angle. Again, we're going to do trigonometry because I would do, I would do Pythagorean theorem if I, need to, if I had two sides and needed to find the missing one, but I only know one of the sides. So I need trigonometry in order to figure this one out. So I'm going to pick the angle that gave us 41 degrees. And then I'm going to go ahead and label all my sides. So 4 is going to be my opposite because it's farthest away from A. X is going to be my adjacent because the, ang the side farthest away or opposite of the 90 degree angle is my hypotenuse. And of course, we remember our tribal phrase or Jedi phrase, Sokatoa. And with that knowledge, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. Well, the only thing I don't have any idea about is the hypotenuse. So it doesn't give me anything. So that means I'm going to go up to my phrase and cross out the ones that need the hypotenuse. So sine needs it, so I can't use that. Cosine needs it, so I can't use that. The only phrase I can use is TOA. So that means tangent from 41 degrees equals opposite, which is 4, over x, which is what we're trying to find. So in this situation, we already know that the angle is 41 degrees. Now, on your calculators, you can plug in tangent of 41, it will spit out a decimal for you. Or, if, I have, if you have the old technology like Mr. Schwann, you have a chart that will tell you what tangent of 41 degrees is. So I go to the tangent column, go to 41 degrees, and I see that tangent is going to be 0 0.8693. So 0.8693 equals 4 over x. So that's what tangent of 41 degrees is. It is that decimal. So now I just set up on my proportion, cross multiply, and solve from there. So I'm going to have 1 times 4 is 4 equals 0.8693x. And to get x by itself, we divide by 0 0.8693. 0 0.8693. And we're going to find out what x equals. So x will equal... Gonna plug into my calculator here for divided by 0.8693. That's gonna give me 4.60, so we'll just call it 4.6. So x in this case is 4.6. And we just use our regular trigonometry because we don't need to find the angle, we just need to find the side. And so you eliminate which you uh, which phrases or which uh, trig functions you can't use based on the information they give you and you go from there and find out what the missing side is.